My name is Gloria Steinem. I'm a feminist organizer, writer, and speaker. Like many people, I have done restaurant work at various times in my life. Uh, I was uh, an occasional waitress and catering uh, person. I was living in Toledo. I worked in a espresso for uh, about six months in London. I worked as a waitress, a glorified waitress that is a bunny in a Playboy club because I was writing an expose of the working conditions there. So I, I've had a wide variety of experience and they were all situations in which that I and everybody else were very, very dependent on tips and they were all very poorly paid jobs. Actually, when I was working at the Playboy Club because it was under another name and I was writing a story, I was always a little concerned that somebody I knew would come in and recognize me. And I was working the hat check stand and two people I did know came in and, rec came in and didn't recognize me because they didn't look at, at me as a person because I was a servant. If you're living off tips, it means that you are not getting a living wage. It means you're dependent on the kindness or generosity of strangers. It means you're constantly dependent. The, the best of it, I would say, the best of the job is when you do connect with people you're serving. When I was working in London, there were a lot of political refugees from an embassy around the corner who were coming in. And I learned, you know, about their political situation. Um, there is something uh, welcoming and human and enjoyable about being able to serve food to your fellow humans and make them comfortable and give them what they want. and. Uh, you welcome them into a, a restaurant as a community. But if, if, you're, if you're poorly paid, you're totally dependent on their approval or disapproval. You know, you come to feel not like a person, but like an object. We not only have a very low minimum wage, but we also have an even lower one because if you are tipped, then you need only be paid at the moment $2.13 an hour. The most sinister thing about not getting a decent salary and being dependent on tips is that you're dependent on currying favor from the customer. And that is especially true for women. I think it's part of the reason that women dominate this profession. We, we need to remember the person serving us is a person, <laughs> you know? And, and not treat them as an institution. There are people who care deeply about whether or not everything on their plate has been grown within 100 miles. But do they care about the person who's serving? And the way that will happen is by each person who's had this experience telling their story. I don't know of any social justice movement that hasn't started that way. And it's up to us who, who care about social change to tell our stories and to tell them often and to each other and to encourage other people to tell their stories. It's, it's all about seeing the, the real human story. If you're living off tips, join the movement and share your story now at livingofftips.com. Together, we can raise the tip minimum wage.